whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality nerd commentary, you got my man Colton, aka Pizza Parker. Tell it to the people. Boy Colton, aka Danger Dan. <laughs> it's me. We're here. Facts. We also got the greatest engineer across all planes of existence, my son Gassy. What's up? Yo. Gia. And, uh, you know, it's your boy Dennis, a.k.a. Old Dirty Dennis, a.k.a. Professor X, a.k.a. Fly Clops, a.k.a. The Apocalypse, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome to another issue of the Mighty Betty Humans podcast. We doing the danger room today. Fellas, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. How you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling energized, you know what I mean? I've been working out for this. I'm ready. You no know what I mean? Niggas think we haven't been in the danger room for a little while now, you know what I mean? So, you know, we got we to gotta get back in shape. That's a fact. Fact. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit y'all with the first one. Ballerina. Would you rather face? Actually, it's a two part question. I'm gonna ask you which one would you rather face, and which one would win in a fight? A hippopotamus versus a spiderella, but it's proportioned to the size of a gorilla. So it has all eight arms like a spider, but it's the size of a gorilla. Versus a hippopotamus. Which would you face, and which one wins in a fight? Is the gorilla, like, even though it has, like, the eight... It's uh, a gorilla, parts, but it's, it's... Is it shaped like a spider? Mm, yes. Yes. That's scary. That's the scariest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. And a hippopotamus... Mo- <laughs> yes. Yo, yeah. hippopotamus <laughs> are fucking fast as shit and giant as shit. Moose are even more giant. <laughs> Combined, nigga, hippopotamus. Fuck, what you I got? Don't know. Both are terrible. Who you, who you fighting, Gas? Let's put Gas through the chamber first, nigga. Uh, <laughs> well, am I not fighting? I'm probably not fighting the hippopotamus. Yeah, I don't want to fight the hippopotamus. <laughs> All right, but then the, the... <laughs> spiderella is nigga. crazy. And if it's, it's proportion like too, it's, fucking, it's, it's a yeah, giant it's spider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's pick dangerous, the, though, nigga. The spiderella, and that's like still a horrible death. It's so horrible. I, I, I think this is hilarious because, as a rule on the danger room, my man Gas always says you never want to fight the gorilla. This nigga took. No. This nigga's taking the gorilla in a fight. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Spider, you said the consistency of a spider. That nigga has the consistency of a spider. Yeah, it's proportioned. To the size of a gorilla, though. So you have a giant spider with the that top half of a gorilla. So now it can web it. you and beat your ass, too, nigga. <laughs> Are you I taking... mean, I feel me, but... <laughs> I'm just asking, though. Hippopotamus is so gigantic. <laughs> like, hippopotamus don't already like, wild don't out like anything. they're mad gigantic. They don't, they don't like nothing. So, so like, like, now they have, like, big-ass... Yes, Tuss yes, shit's on their head, yes, and nigga. they're fast as fuck. They're like and extra big. fast now, yes. girl. Yes, Man, no, I'm good. So <laughs> it's a tall, I, I just, the... fat thing yes. running at you. Yes. Yes. that and don't give so a fuck. Fast. That can swim. You can't even run <laughs> that can away. Swim. Can Have swim you seen too? a hippopotamus? Well, you know what's crazy? They don't even swim. They just run under the water really fucking fast, <laughs> no, nigga. No. They swim. No, they don't. I've, look Have at the Have you video. seen them swim? They don't I've swim. I've watched a video of them swimming like a fucking tank. <laughs> them niggas swim, nigga. You, you, you must not swim, know. bro. They dead ass I run guess. under the water, nigga. Going watch. I'm this nigga's gonna pull it up. They, they do this like fucking tread under the water that's mad they fucking They swim. Crazy. And then they jump. Oh, they niggas be wildin'. <laughs> them niggas go crazy. It don't matter. I'm so, not trying to fight it regardless. <laughs> but let's... <laughs> so basically what I'm hearing is y'all niggas is definitely somehow fighting the spiderilla. You have no well, choice. Yeah, I'm gonna die by the spiderilla, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. I can't believe I find I feel like this is history right here. Yo, nah, he really pulled it up. That's fucking scary, yo. I don't think you're understanding. <laughs> if they put the camera under the water, I don't think you understand the nigga how much is water running is running and Yo, then this, jumping up. This nigga I'm not moving, even joking. This he is wild. Like, no, this nigga They're, moving like Michael Phelps, son. This is fucking nuts. <laughs> Please look up a video of. There, I hear. I, I've seen what you're talking about. 
<laughs> but this is not the same thing. This is Bro. not just some random bayou. This is nigga is this is a Yo. large body of water. This nigga is in. Like that's deep water right there. That's fucking nuts. This nigga is swimming. <laughs> Michael Phelps. Look, 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 look. He's a dolphin, nigga. The nigga is running underwater and then jumping up like fucking Michael Jordan. I'm telling y'all right now. Okay. The nigga got hops. They're strong as mm. shit. They're so strong. <laughs> look up the video of how they travel in water. It's nuts. It's actually crazy. The fact that we got here is fucking hilarious. Yo, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hippopotamuses are like fucking freaks of nature. They don't make sense. Nigga, they like Zion Williamson of oh, animals, shit. nigga. They dead ass the Zion of animals. They strong, they fast, they, <laughs> they fucking wild out on you any type of way. The niggas, they be wilding. All right, so just because y'all picked this, the I guess y'all say y'all fighting the Spiderella, I'm going to take the Hippopotamus. I'm, I, just for the team, for the content, mm. just put it on my tombstone. This nigga fought a Hippopotamus, my it nigga. Lost. I lost. Yeah, it put lost. It on. You like a it. dumbass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> This nigga, nigga is retarded. This nigga <laughs> stupid. This nigga stupid as hell. That's my final AK, nigga. This nigga was wildin'. Um, all right, next question. Would you rather fight a minotaur with dual wielding axes or an ogre with two heads but one arm? I want you to think about it. You know what a minotaur is, right? Like the giant uh what is that like a um the nigga the, with the, the horns? The yeah. horn ox nigga. Yeah, yeah. That walks on, yeah, on his I'm back. I'm definitely legs. fighting the ogre with the two heads and one arm. You sure? Yeah, because they still strong as shit. That's they what I'm still saying. Wild out. But, but now dude, he don't got, got he, he don't got, got no weak. He he can see everything now, I nigga. Don't know. That two... don't matter. Go ahead, what he you got? He only got one arm. <laughs> and that's that could be a chink in the armor, nigga. That could be a big chink in the armor. See, my issue is with the Minotaur, Minotaurs are bigger than orcs. Yes. And they have, it has dual wielding <laughs> axes and two arms, nigga. And horns. No, nigga, you trying to, you trying to motherfucking get me. Nigga, I will definitely take the orc and I might survive a lot longer with the orc yeah. than I will with the minotaur. So I'm definitely taking the orc with two heads. Yeah, he got the super peripheral oh, vision. Shit. What happened if I poke out both of his eyes on one of his heads? So now this nigga got regular vision and one arm. How you, how you gonna, strong as hell, though. How you gonna, it's an ogre, though, bro. Them niggas is big as fuck. Listen. Where are you, how yes, are sir. you? What are you doing? Like, listen. Explain it to the me. The minotaur is way bigger, bro. I'm, I have no, there's no weaknesses when it comes to that. And two arms and dual wield and axis. No, nigga. I'm picking the orc. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 times. Oh, shit. What about you, guys? <laughs> Repeat it. All right. So you either have to fight a minotaur with dual wielding axes or an ogre with two heads but one arm. Ogres are pretty fucking big, bro. A minotaur is the... The, the big ox nigga. Yeah. In uh, the maze in like uh, Hercules. And the ogre is a nigga with... The it's, ogre is just like, regular, a regular yeah, like a ass. So it's basically ass the same ogre. thing. Not really, because minotaurs are bigger. Nah, ogres are bigger. Ogres should be bigger, I think. Which ogre are you talking about right now? Are you it's talking about like sort of ogres from... Thing. Ogre. Okay, I thought you was talking about orc. No, 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 not orc. You, talk, you thought he was talking about the cyclops. Probably. I thought he was talking about. No, no, no. I thought he was talking about orcs. At first, I thought the he cyclops was are the gigantic. Also, yeah, if you yeah, said yeah. so cyclops, ogres right. are like Shrek, mm. but like not Shrek. No, like ogre, actual, ogres. Actual it should be a the, 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 the what's them called the tusk like fucking. Yeah, the big yeah, tusk. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, like giant goblins, right? Yeah, like giant goblins. Yes. So you stick it to your answer, right? Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, you stick it to your ass. I mean, either yeah. way, it's a yeah. loss. So I, yeah, it's I a loss. Like... So I stick with my ass. Actually, okay, okay. What about you guys? I feel like either way, it's a loss. It's a loss, but I'm just saying, which one you want to lose by? <laughs> I mean, I'll what do you say, ogre, bro? What do you say? I'm, 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 like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the ogre only. The because... one arm nigga might well, you might be able to fade him a little bit. That's a little saying. bit, yeah, a little bit because you're gonna die, but you can fade him a little bit. Cause that minotaur, like them axes, is not forgiving, bro. Yeah, and that nigga <laughs> knows what he's doing. That's the problem. The ogre could be a little stupid. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? He, Even right, though he got okay. the full peripheral vision. Yeah, he got the renegade. Minotaurs, <laughs> they know once you step into the maze, nigga, I'm supposed to murder you. And now if I have two axes, it's even easier. So yeah. Oh shit! All right, next question. This is from my uh, everywhere all at once fans. Mm. Glizzy fingers or glizzy toes, nigga? <laughs> glizzy toes, because you always got to see my fingers. 
Mm, I got kind of high sure? glizzy toes. How it's you gonna high glizzy toes, bro? Yo, I'm gonna just have to, shoes I'm gonna have, wearing, I'm have the clown shoes, nigga. I don't care. <laughs> Niggas gonna clown my clown shoes as long as they never see my toes. That's it. Yo, your fingers is always shown. Are you dead ass gonna choose glizzy fingers? Slot niggas with some glizzy Be fingers. Right. I That's get it. nasty. I fuck with that. Yo, yes. <laughs> yo, I think we just heard the new Nike dance. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you about to be a part of the Triple X one because of that one. That's crazy. Glizzy yo, the, fingers is yo, the, the night gas, nigga? This, the night gas. <laughs> this nigga That's says hilarious. slap niggas with the glizzy fingers. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, for me, you know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I might go with Colton. I might, I might take the hands. I might take the. No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm gonna take the feet. Take the feet. Take the feet. I don't, I don't know if I could do glizzy fingers, bro. Like you can't hold nothing now. How you gonna type on your phone? How you gonna you be a? People, how though. you gonna engineer, nigga? Like we now we we down a man now. <laughs> nah, nah. You 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 got you got shoulders. You got a whole bunch of shit you can use. Oh shit! All right, so uh, we got one glizzy fingers, two glizzy toes. All right, next one. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, I'm gonna come back to it actually. Next one. Um, you have to choose. You have to exist in a Netflix world. Both of them should suck. Uh, you either gotta exist in the live action Cowboy Bebop world or the Death Note world. Which one are you? Which one are you living in? Cause both them live action shits was trash, but Cow- Cowboy Bebop might be fun. It might be. It might be. But Death Note is just like you don't never know. You can't piss that nigga off. Ever, exactly. Bro. Like not even a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I would live in the Cowboy Bebop world because it, it's just more exciting. Cause technically the Death Note world is just the regular world, nigga, but this thing th- might. You know what I mean? A thought. Imagine a New York nigga. Back in the day with Tim's on, you step on his Tim's. What he doing with that Death Note? <laughs> exactly, nigga. What you what you were saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you again. So basically, you gotta choose a world to live in. You have to either live in a Netflix world. You either gotta live in the Cowboy Bebop live action or the Death Note live action. Uh, live action. Which one are you living in? Me and Gas basically said Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. I feel it'd be fun. Easily, only because. The Death Note always goes to a fucked up person. <laughs> and we, you never know who got the Death Note. Exactly, That's the problem. Nigga. And you never know when Light and L decide they want to <laughs> use you for their fucking game, nigga. Unless I'm like Light. And I don't want to be an L because he's a cop. Exactly. So like, and if I'm Light, I'm a cop. So like, it's just a lose-lose situation for me. And also, mm. I would have the Death Note and not really use it, honestly. Mm, I, okay. I would. I, I just feel like I would have more fun. You could travel yeah. to other planets and, and cowboy shit. Cowboy shit. Cowboy shit. I'm yeah, fine with that, bro. I'm I, would, good. I would definitely fuck with that. Now, here's my favorite uh, out of all the questions, because this one came from uh, uh, Twitter. Shout out to, to Moni. Uh, hypothetical. Who would win in a chess game? A mind reader or someone who could predict the future? See... That's yeah. crazy. I had this yeah. argument with the homies in the group chat yeah, yeah, already, yeah, yeah. which I thought was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but we dead had this argument. Um, it's a standstill, honestly. I, I but you could argue. Weird you because could argue. you could argue for both sides. Because here's what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. If a nigga can see the future, right, mm-hmm. and he sees himself win. How, like, what kind of future sight ability is it? Is it like, does he see every move, like, before the other nigga makes it? Does he see, like, the move he makes that'll eventually help him win? That, that, like, okay, yeah, that, so that could be a technicality. Here's the thing about things like that, right? If you have a vision that's within your mind, wouldn't a mind reader be able to also see that vision? Exactly. So, wouldn't they just both cancel each other out? And then at that point, it would be like, who's the better chess player? Mm. You know what? That's that's you might be on to something. That might cancel I, I each other out. Was and... talking to the homies about that because we was having the argument. They was like, if a mind reader and a, a person who could see the future fought, yeah, who would win the fight? Like if it was like a hand to hand combat type of fight, yeah. And I was like, nigga, according to how each powers work, either or can have the edge. But if yeah. it's like one of those things where it's like. 
they see a, a quick vision like Raven or like um the nigga from My Hero Academia yeah. with the glasses. They see like a quick vision of what the fuck the person's going to do and they're like, all right, I'm going to dodge it like this. But they have to like, they visualize it in their mind. If a yeah. person can read your mind like immediately, they'll, they'll kind of know. But then again, if I'm a nigga that can see the future and I also have good mental focus... And I, I've seen Children of the Corn, nigga. When <laughs> niggas thought about surfing a brick wall. Like, yeah. you think about mad random shit to try to keep them from actually <laughs> reading your mind. I mean, if you can do that, then yeah, maybe the mind reader would win. But mm-hmm. then, like, if the fucking nigga who could read minds... No, no, yeah, if you could um block your mind, the nigga who has future sight could win. But if the nigga who could read minds could, like, just read minds, like, tap into your shit immediately. Like, on some crate, like, some Charles Xavier, or, like... Yeah. Crazy shit, like you know, you probably gonna think that you won and you didn't, nigga. That's true. So That's true. I don't know. And it also, if your power, say your powers is like Doctor Strange, <laughs> but you see all the possibilities, right? Yeah. And there's only one. I mean, like, now what if the nigga also sees that there's only one? Exactly. What happens to your possibilities now? That's what I'm saying. That's I think why it comes down to who's the, who's better at chess. In That's, my opinion, I, I was gonna leave with. I, I was gonna say like. I feel like you made a good point where they cancel each other out and it just basically comes down to like who can play chess better. But at the same time, does that matter? Because yeah, exactly. even if I suck, I could read your I mind. Read your mind. <laughs> but what if both niggas suck? So what happens now? You get <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like an endless game. Like, how do you so, win? So that's why I was like, sometimes this is like one of those like conundr- like those uh, oxymoronic questions yeah. according it's just really according to what the parameters of each powers are. Yeah, because honestly, if it was like an anime, it's just who do you want to win, and we just write that. Yeah, that you know storyline. What about you guys? What you got? I don't hear anything you said. Oh, you okay, like... okay, all right. So I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot the question to you again. So who would win in a chess game? A mind reader or someone who could predict the future? <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. I think a mind reader actually. Really? Someone could predict the future. The future is always changing, so you can't necessarily know exactly what would be true in that perceived future perceived that you've future seen, that right? You've seen. But the mind reader would be able to tell in a moment what your thoughts are, how you're feeling, and stuff like that, which probably tell you a lot more than just seeing exactly what moves they're doing. Okay. Might do. Okay. Okay. I mean. I still lean with the 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 idea that if if these people were both at their prime and like whatever the mind read not the mind reader the nigga that could see the future's powers was let's say it was the perfect he can read the exact future as it's going to happen like predict it and the mind reader can read literally at a second whatever it is that he predicted in the future like Colton said it they kind of cancel each other out and it boils down to which one of us is at least a decent chess player you know what I'm saying like I- yeah, I I feel like it really also comes down because Jamal's like not wrong. Like no, he's not, not wrong. wrong. But like you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Like it's, I feel like I, it really comes down to what are the powers? Cause, exactly. Because like, there's like future premonition where I see what's happening on mm-hmm. happening, and then there's like future premonition where my body just moves to whatever the fuck is happening. I don't even have to know anything. Like I don't even have to think about it. It just happens. Right. You're talking about instincts. Yeah, but that comes with like future premonition. Like that's the higher version of like a future premonition power. The main like, reason, like, my instinct I don't, I don't is, know like, about it is. It's like predictions. Mm. Like I that's mean, what instincts are. Like the, their predictions is like kind of seeing the future. Instincts, I feel like more it, like, are in the moment. It's like if something you can feel it naturally. It's an animal instinct. I understand that, but that's not. But that's not. I'm saying that you, like if you have future premonition like perfectly. Like I okay. not in the way that like w- like the different permanent like things do change. To above see a lot. the future, you can see the actual future that is going to happen. Yeah, like and your body, like you are saying your body naturally reacts some, to it. Yeah, if your powers is perfect, your body will naturally kind of like to a it. fighter so it does become one of those things where like those two things become. That's kind of like some. You get what I'm saying? Shit. I get like, it. Like um, they they have that in the anime. That's what I mean. Like, like some Baki shit. Like, yeah. They, I they also, it. like, even, like, what, like, Ultra Instinct, right? Like, okay, the yeah, yeah, yeah. body, like, basically moves before anyone can do anything. Like, he'll just fucking, like, 
That's not necessarily. I feel like that's more reading minds than actual. Well, that's not even reading minds because it's your. It's like you know. Or, what's or gonna reading to body what's movements. Because all that stuff is not actually time. It, looking through time, it's like you're reading body. If movements your body like reacts that. before regular time, that's legit. Like you moving, progressing more throughout time than. It what's is. your answer? What it, what's your answer? My answer was if they're both in their, their prime, they could cancel each other out, and then it comes mm. down to who's better at the game. Which I feel like, out of all the possible answers, that's the only thing I could lean to. Because you can make a case for either one, and the reason why I brought the question wasn't to see who, we, uh, to basically come up with who would win. I just wanted to see what your train of thought was, basically. Because you can make a case for either one, but I do feel like in a perfect setting where they both have like optimal like level of that whatever the extent of that power is they're going to cancel each other out and it just boils down to like am i a better chess player than you that's the best like honestly like it's to me it's an impossible question to actually answer cuz you would need to know the the parameters of each power and it doesn't come with a, a fucking like list of what that power entails so it it's up to the person to like come up with like what they believe the power to be so i feel i figured it was just like an interesting question like when i saw it and i was like holy shit let me see if what their like uh trainer thought on that yeah, show that's one be. of those uh like i feel like it's not really a trick question because there's multiple answers but yeah it can get people arguing yeah <laughs> all right uh next one just to to take it take it left from that one would you rather save <laughs> Would you rather save Rachel Dawes or save the last dance, nigga? <laughs> Who's Rachel Dawes? Short Maggie Gyllenhaal, nigga. <laughs> Are you jumping out that building to save Maggie? Hell, we saving the last dance, my brother. You feel me? Going crazy. I watched that movie when I was younger. What about you guys? You jumping out that building to save Maggie Gyllenhaal, nigga? No, no, no. <laughs> He's going to save the last dance also. Niggas are not saving Shorty, bro. <laughs> oh shit! All right, um, all right. Just for the record, I am not saving that ass either. Everybody, everybody that knows me knows like how I feel about about that fucking scene. Jesus Christ! <laughs> all right, next one. We back in the ballerina. Same, same, same concept as the last one. You choose a winner between those two, and you tell me which one you'd rather face. So your first one is a tarantula raptor, which is a tarantula slash raptor. <laughs> Yo, Colton's face is like, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> or, basically, Amit. You know Amit, uh, Moon Knight, basically, which is the lion mane with the hippopotamus body, crocodile mouth. Why is always going back to hippopotamus, <laughs> nigga? You know I'm not going to pick that shit, man. You know I'm not going to pick that shit. But then again, a tarantula raptor? Exactly, what nigga. The fuck? How, how big is it? Are we tarantula going, raptors. Are we going the size of a tarantula or, or the size nah, of a raptor? Nah, raptor, nigga. Nah, raptor, raptor, raptor nigga. Size. And you talking about like... <laughs> Like not like the Jurassic Park, like the Velociraptors. He mean raptors, like raptors, little bit right. bigger versions. Of <laughs> yeah, the nigga. Which would kind of be like our height, a little bit taller. <laughs> you really want face? You want face that? A tarantula or you want to, fight? Raptor, you want to it's face like a tarantula uh, and a raptor together? Amit, nigga. But then which is... Amit, who's like a god. <laughs> no god like, powers though. Just, just she's just mixed like that. Which one are you facing? <laughs> The hippo? It's another hippopotamus, nigga. I'm not trying to fight no hippo. So no sentient hippopotamus. Hippos nigga. are going to play with you. They're not going to eat you. That's worse. Oh, man. T Rex, I le- the, the raptor at least will eat you. Yeah. At least let me die like a man. At least eat me. What do you do? <laughs> at least be a stupid animal and <laughs> just get me out of here, man. But Tarantula Raptor is so scary. All those shits is so scary. Yo, this nigga stressed. Cause no, cause it, that nigga got webbed, and they play with you too if they like have spider. Oh shit! They gonna like inject you with some shit. That's Niggas what I'm gonna saying. wrap you up in a web. They gonna slowly eat your body, nigga. You might not feel it cause they hit you with the, with the uh, inject. But I don't want to get eaten while I'm not feeling it, nigga. I'm gonna feel it mentally. 
Yeah. You saying a spider or a tarantula? Tarantula. That's a big ass version of a spider. The long ass. Yeah. That's okay. the scary. The scary. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't have webs. <laughs> They don't got webs? No, they don't oh, have they webs. They don't got webs. They just fast as shit and strong. And some of them are poisonous. Yeah. Oh, my God. So now if I oh poison you and then I so learn... So now if the nigga just slice you <laughs> and then just run around you for, for hours, you just die of poison. <laughs> you just like, oh, fuck. But I think the, the hippo shorty I'm at... Nah. Honestly, I'm not... Yo. <laughs> For the content, do it. For the content, <laughs> I'm gonna jump out the window. Might gotta fight Ahmed and try to bag. You better, shorty. Yo, you a hippo? I fuck with hippos for real. What you? What you want? What you want me to do? What you? What you, to what you want today? What you want? What you want today? Yes, sir. Oh shit! All right, so we got one for Ahmed. What about you guys? <laughs> the tarantula raptor or Ahmed? Which one are you taking? Uh, I might take the trench route. Ooh, okay, okay. I already gave you my reason. If <laughs> if if Ahmed is not in any like just pure animal instinct, nigga. Yeah, it's over. The fuck, but it don't matter. I'm gonna try. I gotta try. Yeah, you trying by yourself? I'm taking the trench <laughs> route, there, nigga. <laughs> you a wild boy. You I'm can have try, that. I'm gonna try, man. <laughs> All right, next one. Where was my mind? Uh, a sharkaroo. Which is basically head of a shark, body of a kangaroo, right? Mm. Versus an octophant, which is basically an elephant with octopus tentacles. <laughs> which one are you facing? <laughs> Nigga think it hard, son. <laughs> Honestly, I'm making it real simple. I'm fighting the octa elephant, bro. The octophant. It's basically just the elephant, and instead of just the one tusk, like you literally got like the multiple tentacles. Oh, so it looks like a Cthulhu. Yes, yes. Or you facing one on one with a shark headed kangaroo, bro. Like I'm not fighting that. I'm not fighting that. Kangaroos be tough as fuck, nigga. Like I seen the videos. <laughs> the niggas be squaring up. My like nigga a mouth, ride... hands, and feet. Yeah, nigga. Yo, dead ass. That's so deep. Once he put you in the headlock, he gonna bite your off, head off, nigga. Arr, nigga. I play, yeah. I play with Roger and Tekken, nigga. No, I am facing the Octofence. And they're going to kick the fuck out of you. <laughs> kick all the wind out of you, nigga. And then try to eat your face off. And you know the Oct- you know The Octofence is going to be... fuck you up, though. It Man, is. Crazy. It is. It's it is. It got legs. Out, nigga. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. He's going to stomp you the fuck out. Extort. And he's going to grab you with his fucking <laughs> tentacle face. Pull you in mad scary looking <laughs> and then slam you on the ground. Bow, 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 bow. And, and the fucked up shit is you know that nigga's petty, so he coming to your funeral. Yo, he comes to your dead, funeral nigga. and stomping out your <laughs> casket at your funeral. You gonna remember. And octopus are one of the smartest animals exactly. in the ocean. So now you get the two smartest things ever <laughs> together. But here's my here's why I will fight it. Ooh, okay. Because y'all so smart. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> this is my new approach. This nigga think one. he Naruto, nigga. I get on the floor, put my hand down on the floor. Hey, Octa Elephant. Tell me, give me your strength. <laughs> and it murders me. It's like, what the fuck is this stupid ass nigga doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> so you got the Octafin. I yeah. got the Octafin. What about you guys? You took the Octafin or the sh- shark a root? Nah, yeah, I got the option. Ah, smart, yeah, smart, smart man, smart man. Yeah, option, man. Option, man. <laughs> All right, nigga might, nigga might even give me the quiet, like just choke me yo, out. Yo, just like, one time, death. just make it quick. It, know what I mean? Like, yo, we gotta do this humanely. Like. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, we staying, we staying in the battle arena. I got one more. You can either face the dragon whale, which is basically a blue whale with dragon skin. And wings, so it breathes ice. <laughs> yo, this nigga's looking at me like, yo, where'd you come up with this shit? <laughs> well, what the fuck? All right, what's the next one? And, <laughs> and the next one is basically a snake elk. So it has the body of a snake, but it's the size of an elk with horns. <laughs> I'm facing a snake elk, I'm my nigga. Snake I'm, not I'm not facing a, a dragon whale, dragon whale, nigga. You fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm facing the snake though, because at least that nigga will swallow me in like one fucking go, and then it's over. Oh 
this shit without you guys. I might you said, be able to. You said a whale does what? A whale, a dragon whale. Dragon whale, my nigga. So basically, the biggest whale, blue whale, nigga, that Where could fly. Dragon skin that could fly <laughs> sh- and breathe ice, nigga. Versus a snake elk, which is like a snake the size of an elk with horns. I'm fighting the snake elk 10 out of 10 times, nigga. <laughs> It should have just swallowed me in one go. It's fine. I watched the movie. Oh, a water dragon. Yeah, nigga. Water dragon? Yeah, I'm good, my nigga. The good, biggest bro. one, nigga. Or oh, a snake elk. <laughs> a sna- snake, elk. snake elk. So, like, a fucking elk. Like, a little yeah. elk. Yeah. Mm. It's not a fucking whale dragon. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it might, might take a snake elk. You gotta Always have you gotta land. Choice. But land and sea is always a problem. You feel me? Air That's what I'm saying, sea, nigga. <laughs> Air and sea is crazy. Air you not sea. dodging him, my nigga. It's a blue whale. Nigga. You can't go like, on land. <laughs> nigga gonna breathe ice or wherever you hide. Yeah, nah, I'm good. You can't hide from this you nigga, can't. son. This nigga's He's huge. Too big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I watch Mega Evolution on Pokemon. <laughs> I'm good, my brother. Oh, shit. All right, so we that's unanimous. All right. This one, you probably gonna have to... Uh, take a little time to think about. I want you. You're the new Vought in the National. You know what I mean, and now you gotta put together your seven heroes. You got the, basically the boys. You put. You gonna put your 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 team together. So you gotta give me a Homelander. You gotta give me an A Train, Deep, Starlight, Maeve, Black Noir, Stormfront. Put your team together. I'm gonna give you mine while you my while you think. <laughs> my homelander off the rip is uh, Ezra Miller. <laughs> they they are homelander. <laughs> like that ass. Just off the rip. My uh, oh, my A train. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. Who would be my A train? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Take some time to think. I'm gonna give you mine just to get. Oh, you my A train is Terry Crews. Okay. Just immediately, <laughs> he's definitely the A train of the group. That's fucking Absolutely. dang. That nigga's huge. Um, uh, I got Maeve. Uh huh. My woman. Uh, could be Viola Davis. Okay, okay. Uh, Viola Davis is my Maeve. Okay, not bad a choice. Uh, not bad a else, choice. Who else we got? Uh, Deep. The Deep. The deep. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart gotta be the Deep. Kevin Hart definitely the Deep. Kevin Hart is absolutely the Deep. Black Noir is the Rock. Okay, <laughs> absolutely. Our black noir is definitely the rock. Um, who Who's else? Your starlight? Who's your and starlight? Starlight. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And just to add some spice, who's your stormfront? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me some time for that. One. <laughs> all right. All right. While you think, I'm gonna give you mine. So my homelander, my stormfront might be Trump. Damn. <laughs> Trump might be my storm friend. Okay, okay. Or right. Army Hammer. Ooh. <laughs> One or the other. Oh, shit. All right, so my Homelander is peak crazy Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay. Um, my A-Train, Tyrese, nigga. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so hilarious. <laughs> my Deep, Ace Ventura, nigga. Like... <laughs> Okay. Jim Carrey, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maeve, just just to get people on her side, Beyonce. Beyonce's Maeve, yes, nigga. Yes, Beyonce's <laughs> Maeve, nigga. Um, Starlight? Mm, someone fake innocent like that? What's your... Uh, Yelena. Um, Flor- Flor- Florence Pugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could be Starlight. She could be a Starlight. Uh, <laughs> Black Noir... My son from the St. Lunatics that don't talk, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> Slow, down, nigga. Slow down, nigga. <laughs> and my Stormfront, shorty from Fox News, Laura Ingram, nigga. Oh, <laughs> Yo, just to spice it up, my, uh, my uh, Billy the Butcher would be Idris Elba, nigga. <laughs> just because he got a British accent. <laughs> oh, shit. Mine's would probably be Tom Holland. Then. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, um, all right. Um, all right. So this is for both of y'all. Rank these singers in order: Jigglypuff, Ray J, Will Ferrell, and Step Brothers, and Future. Give it to me in order. All right. So gotta go Will Ferrell and Step Brothers because that opera was fucking beautiful. Okay. Then we gotta go uh, Future. 
Okay. Then wait. Yeah, we gotta go future. Okay. Um, who's the next two? Um, Jigglypuff and who else? Ray J. Ray J. Ah, <laughs> I love Ray J. He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it to Jigglypuff. Ooh. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Gotta give it to Jigglypuff at number three. And then Ray J, because of the verses, <laughs> that's the only reason why he's dead last on To my list. baby's porn. <laughs> <laughs> my baby's porn. <laughs> it was good for me. It was good me. <laughs> oh, shit. What, 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 is, what is yours, guys? Yeah, what you got, guys? What you got? I'm so, you... Ray J obviously has to be number one. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to it, it, Ray J is not the one. Like <laughs> okay, okay. And then you got, uh, you said who else? You uh, said Will Ferrell and Step Brothers, Jigglypuff, and Future. <laughs> you okay. go Will Ferrell, then Jigglypuff. Ooh, okay, and Future's and last. Future could be last. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Let me see. For me, Jigglypuff is the GOAT. Or Jigglypuff could be first, actually. Yeah, yeah. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff could be the first. GOAT, nigga. But I only gave Jigglypuff less points because her songs be putting niggas to sleep. <laughs> That's my okay. only issue. Okay, Beautiful okay. voice, you be putting niggas to sleep. <laughs> nah, Jigglypuff is my number one. Uh, mm-hmm. Will Ferrell, second. That nigga mm-hmm. killed that shit. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to Future. And unfortunately... Ray J's going like that. That verse is killed the him, bro. Verse is really <laughs> it killed, like it, it would have been number one in the power ranking last year. That shit is crazy. Yo, that shit hurts, man. That shit hurt. Um. Okay. So let me see. Who else do I have? All right. So secret identity, uh, lifestyle. You gotta choose one of these people to live as, but they don't have their powers. You can either live your life as Peter Parker or Clark Kent. Who do you live as? Clark Kent is an easier life. Yeah? Okay, okay. What about you guys? And I love Peter Parker, but it's just his life is too depressing. <laughs> he be losing too many bitches. And it could be way too depressed. But he always get a new he bitch, get though. A, yeah, but he still be way too depressed. And then at the end of the day, he ends up lonely because he can't be with anybody because he's Spider-Man. and he has well, Clark Kent is an easier life. Clark Kent is the way easier life, so I'll just be Clark Kent. All right, so I'm be the only... I'm going to be Peter Parker, bro. Like, I'm going to be stressed when I'm going to have... I'm be I'm basically broke future basically like yeah. that's, literally, that's literally what it is you know what I mean um let me see uh hmm I got a couple I got a couple oh okay so you get pulled over by the cops red state mega cops one of these people is in the passenger seat who's in the passenger seat O J Simpson Barack Obama or Donald Trump with his mouth taped. Duct taped. Who's in your passenger seat? All right. Obama. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you you want to go ahead? Go ahead. Obama. I'm only good. choosing Obama because mm-hmm. I'm a black man. Donald Trump's in my seat. He has tape over his mouth. <laughs> They're gonna shoot me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're just gonna shoot me straight up. Uh, OJ is also another good answer because white people do like OJ. He's he's not black. He's OJ. <laughs> But after that trial, <laughs> they felt a little dick. Obama <laughs> is hated in the red states, but since he's not been president, he's been pretty supportive of the red states. <laughs> and they've been they've been like, eh, we don't care. So I think Obama might be the best chance. Mm-hmm. If if this was the 80s. Okay. OJ would be the best answer. <laughs> what about you guys? Who you pick? If it was without tape, Trump would actually yeah, That's be why I did not let you have yeah. without tape, nigga. Oh, God, God. <laughs> what you saying? Well, you can't pick OJ because he kills white people. That's, that's what I'm saying. You can't. You cannot. You can't pick OJ because he kills white At people. All. Obama's a nigga. Wait, that is a nigger. He's a nigger. That's a hard he's half, R. He's half. Well, you he's feel me? Half. He's half, but n- nigger. But still, you feel so what? <laughs> Who let that nigger yo, in the White House? You feel yo, me? this is a sound clip. <laughs> <laughs> Who, went, uh, who else was it? It was Trump. Trump, with tape Trump on his is mouth. too black. You keep no, it don't work. Trump is too black. And he got tape and on his mouth. And who else? Those are the three. Those that was it. Yeah. Obama. Who was in your passenger seat? Obama. You got pulled over. Trump has tape on his mouth. It's 2 a.m. You got pulled over in a red state. 
You already know these are mad cops. Cops not going to let you say anything. <laughs> Bill <laughs> Cosby. <laughs> Yo, this thing is a wild boy. <laughs> this is not a Patreon episode. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm dead. What's that? Are we done? <laughs> Wait, is there more questions? What... Oh fuck! Yo, nah, that's the sound clip. This thing is wild. Oh <laughs> no! Yo, no. No. <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Man, you get your... you and your grandpa get your nigger hands <laughs> up. <laughs> that's what they exactly what they would do. Exactly. Yo, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> I mean, they might do the same with Obama, but they nah, might they at least definitely acknowledge Obama, Obama first. They're like, is that Barack Obama? Oh, like, first God. of all, sir, he is no longer the president. You are safe. <laughs> you are safe. You are good. I made sure he wasn't president no more. <laughs> it was me. I did that. All right. So your next question, <clears throat> you got to press the button. You're basically the exec. Um, you, you're either green lighting. We're going to pretend it's not actually happening. You're either green lighting... Actually, no, we can't. You're either greenlighting the last Airbender sequel with uh, M. Night Shyamalan, again, in charge, or a sequel to Halle Berry's Catwoman. Which one are you pressing the button and giving them these giving these niggas the budget for? Halle Berry Catwoman, <laughs> 10 out of 10 times. I just want to see how fine ass. I think it could be horrible. I don't care. I'll take that out. I'll do it just to see Halle Berry and Spandex. It's fine. You know the night deviant would, uh, yeah. would choose that. I know, I know he would. Out of I know he would. <laughs> so, well, what about you guys? Which one are you green lighting? You said who again? You M. either green Shyamalan yeah. Avatar, the last yeah. Airbender, or, or Halle, Halle, Halle Berry's Catwoman. Catwoman sequel. Oh, Halle Berry Catwoman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to be an agent of chaos, nigga. M Night Shyamalan for what? Y'all niggas. Avatar, the last yeah, Airbender. Yeah, yeah. As an agent of chaos, oh. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you no, the the fuck out. Yo, I'm gonna let you know, Dennis. You are the dirtiest. For this. Just to be an agent of chaos, nigga. Horrible. Y'all niggas is getting a sequel to Make sure you, cut this, out. Make sure you bleep been... this out when he says that shit. <laughs> you bleep all that shit out. Shit's coming to HBO Max, nigga. <laughs> oh shit! All right, next question. Next question. Um. You can either be, <laughs> you can either be an extra in the cats movie, the live action shit where niggas was dressed like cats. Oh my gosh! Or you can star as Jax in Mortal Kombat Annihilations with all his racist tropes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the Jax, nigga. Damn, yeah. nigga, yo, yo. Typecast me, bro. <laughs> Typecast me, bro. What I'm the Jax. hell, Sonya? <laughs> I'm not in cats because that shit flopped. That shit also Mortal Kombat didn't do that great, but <laughs> nigga, I'm in the memes. <laughs> I know that much. I'm not trying to be looking like a weird ass CGI cat, nigga. I'm gonna be honest. I'm holding it down as Jax in Mortal Kombat with all the racial tropes. I'm okay with that. Oh shit, what about you guys? You a cat or you Jax? <laughs> That's basically what it boils down to. Nah, I'll be Jax. <laughs> gotta be the black man, man. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, what's up? <laughs> the fuck is cracking, nigga? <laughs> You sound like my son from fucking uh, yeah. Transformers. <laughs> What's cracking, little bitches? My son, yo. They killed oh, that nigga, shit. too. That's crazy. Racist, That's fucking racism. hilarious. All right. Your next question. You're going to be... Both of the, both answers, you're stuck in a room. So you can either be stuck in a room with a orangutan that likes your shirt, like that fucking video, oh, and then no. you can try to grab try your to shirt. Grab your legs and your shirt. Yeah. Or you're stuck in a room with a hungry and desperate army hammer trying to sell you timeshare. Oh, army hammer. <laughs> Why you're broke? Fuck him up. <laughs> I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna fuck army hammer up. Oh my god. I'm so happy you brought this up. I'll just beat the fuck out of him. Not even because he, like, I don't even, even if I didn't know it was a battle arena, and he pulled up on me. He'd be like, yeah, my name is Army. I was like, Army Hammer? Bow! Bow, 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 bow! Immediately, nigga. Immediately. It wouldn't even take no time. I'm dead. I don't even want to touch a gorilla, bro. <laughs> Gorillas are chill, bro. They only fuck with people when they get bothered, bro. Oh, shit. Or they feel like bothering you. Or they feel like bothering you. That's, that's fine, because they playful, nigga. They'll kill you. <laughs> I was about to say. But I don't I'll know fight Army that. Hammer, nigga. I'll beat the shit out of that nigga. What about you, guys? 
You find a hungry and desperate army hammer. This nigga eats skulls and shit. Like this nigga's a wild boy. That's what's up. You're gonna have to get my phone first, nigga. <laughs> don't tr- don't t- don't threaten him with a good time, Yo, nigga. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. I I'm very excited for this one. I picked it so fast. I was like, ah, absolutely. I always wanted to fight a cannibal. Is that something that's weird? That's like in my head. I just always felt like me fighting a cannibal. Oh, like shit. if you get some bites off, that's what's up. But I'm gonna kill you, bro. Like, <laughs> And it's going to be fine, and no one's going to give a fuck, because you're a cannibal. Which is wild coming from you, because every zombie apocalypse you say it's to me, I'm going to be the nigga. I'm going to be the nigga that I Highland. I'm going to be the nigga I hate when the apocalypse starts. I'm going to I'm gonna have to smoke myself. <laughs> Yo, cult in him is crazy, son. Yo, I mean... That could either be a poor name Yo. or something else during the apocalypse, nigga. <laughs> shit, shit go crazy. Oh, shit. All right. Um, let me see. What else I got for y'all? Ooh, I've been saving that one. So, back in the arena. Loving these arenas. Uh, your first choice, an owl bear or a monkey crab, which is basically a monkey with pincers, with pincers and a hard shell, or an owl bear. And we definitely saw the owl bear from Dungeons and Dragons. Is it a monkey crab? Yeah, nigga. It's basically yeah, I, a I monkey just, with. I just fight the monkey crab. Word? Yeah, it's gonna be wild, but like at least it's smaller than an uh, owl bear. <laughs> so we've seen what the fuck the owl bears look like. I'm good, dude. Nigga. I'm absolutely okay. <laughs> like, I'm absolutely fine. Like, an owl bear? Like, a bear with an owl head, nigga? First of all, owls have 360. They can turn the head 360, nigga. No, nigga, absolutely not. Uh, a little crab monkey is gonna be ugly as fuck and like the fastest shit. Uh nigga, if I kill him, just know we eating seafood tonight, <laughs> nigga. Just know. But owl bear, yeah. Even if I kill an owl bear, I'd be fucking disgusted. I'd be like, why does this exist? I don't. I just don't like the existence of that. It's a cool thing to look at. <laughs> it's a horrible thing to exist. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! What about you guys? You find the owl bear or you find the monkey crab? Oh my god! Man, both of them shit is ugly as shit. I will fight the monkey crab. Yeah, but like, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm yeah. I'm gonna stick with y'all on this one. I'm gonna stick with y'all, even though I think that's wild because you. Think of a monkey with with crab pincers, my nigga, and it got the hard shell on the back for protection. I don't. Granted, I don't want to fight an owl bear, but my nigga, my nigga, a monkey crab though. Like, I don't know. Um, let me see. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. So you could either fight uh Cerebus, which you know, each head has a different elemental, because you know it usually has like uh the. Three different heads. So one head is fire, one head is water, the other head is lightning. Or you fight two honey badgers that can stand on their hind legs and they can do all of Bruce Lee's moves. His entire skill set. Two honey badgers. Okay, wait. What was the first one? The Cerebus. A Cerebus? Yeah. What is a Cerebus again? It's basically like the giant lion... Lion body with like three snake heads, uh, <laughs> and each snake head <laughs> fires off oh, a different it's element. The, it's the the three headed. Cerebus not three headed dog. Yeah, yes, it actually, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I mean, you still fucked, and it, it still breathes breaks. fire. Each one of them, each one of them has a. It has three heads in this case, and each one of them has a different elemental power. <laughs> The second one's two honey badges that fight like Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the honey badges, man. They yeah, gonna whoop my ass. They're gonna jump me. They're gonna jump the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Them niggas badges don't scare. So fast, them niggas don't, they don't care about shit. Nothing. 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 They're gonna block everything. They don't give they a fuck. They're gonna just beat nigga. the fuck out of me, son, for mad long. And it's fine. Dude. I might as well just beat the shit out of me, dude. I'm not fighting no fucking Cerebus, the giant ass three headed dogs with like fire, electric, and like w- w- ice water. Yeah, nigga. nigga. No, I'm good, nigga. I'm what, good. What about you guys? Yeah, I'll call it fight the honey badgers. You find the honey badgers? I'm making my death quick. I don't know why y'all want to fight honey badgers because them niggas is around you. They're not even your size. They're smaller than you. So you think that I want to sit here and fight two of these niggas all day? No, make my death quick. Like, either use the ice, use the lightning, or use the fire and get me the fuck out of here, bro. Like, I'm not... 
Y'all getting embarrassed because them niggas about to have a fucking field day with y'all niggas. <laughs> and they don't have any sense of fear. Y'all going to be there all goddamn day, son. Nah. Hook me up with the service. We fighting. Um, all right, so we winded down. These are... Shout out to, uh, shout out to Drizzy on both the Discord and um, Patreon. He sent in two questions. So his danger room questions. Uh, would you rather have the power of Marco the Phoenix, which is, I guess, like the dude from One Piece, uh, but you feel the flames every time you use it, or... What the fuck is his power? He's like a... Uh, how, can I, how can I put it? You ever you watched One Piece, right? Yeah. Uh, you know Ace? Yeah. The, he's basically like Ace. He just has mad firepower? Yeah. So you have the firepower, but every time so you, you use it, you feel it. You feel the it. fire. Yeah. Or you're a vampire and you can be outside during the daytime, but you turn to dust at night. So you gotta avoid oh, darkness. Damn. <laughs> Which one are you picking? <laughs> Both of those actually suck. Yeah, yeah. But uh huh. I'm a streamer, so <laughs> I'll just be a vampire. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just stream at night. Yeah. <laughs> That's lit. That's, That's lit. it. And then I, I go out in the daytime, and then people invite me out at places at night. Oh, no. Nah, I, I, I don't do that. I'm yeah, streaming. I'm, I'm dangerous crazy. neighborhood. I can't. I can't be Yeah, nah, I can't leave my house. <laughs> Why? I just can't. <laughs> I'm actually taking that power, too, because that feeling the flame shit, I, don't, I can't get Yeah, like, what that. the fuck? I I, would, like, if I took that one, I, I just would never use the power. Exactly. You know what I mean? What and about that you would guys? be useless, because then I would just be me still. Exactly. <laughs> Which one are you taking? I feel like he's going he's going to join us but still I'm going to ask him anyway. Do you know? This nigga think it hard as shit. Yeah, nigga, you. <laughs> yeah, you asked you. We asking you. Oh, say that shit again. Oh, would you uh, yeah, would you, you cuz I know you like yo one uh, piece fan. Ace's power from one piece where like you could just generate mad fire. But you but feel you it. feel it. Or would you rather um, be a vampire. a vampire, but you go out in the daytime, but you turn dust at night? I turn to dust yeah, at night? Yeah, you go outside yeah. in the nighttime, you'll turn into You need the to fuck? be a light. What type of vampire? <laughs> You're a reverse vampire, nigga. Yeah. N- nigga, what? <laughs> what you, you call that? Like? <laughs> it's not a vampire. It's a reverse vampire, nigga. I still you drink know, blood? That nigga yeah, drink blood. Do. You probably still do all the same shit. Just during the day, nigga. You just got to do it during the day. <laughs> You got a morning shift. What would you prefer? (laughs) The firepower where you can feel all the fire every time you use it, or a reverse vampire? I'm a reverse vampire. The the reverse vampire might make more sense, but that fire shit, you be fucked up all the time. You can feel it, or is it fucking you up? You can feel it. Yeah, I can only feel it. It's not fucking me up though. No, you can feel it. You'll always feel it. Like you, you can't even like mentally block it out. Like you'll exactly. always feel the fire. I mean, the after a while, you'll, you'll probably get it. used to it. You'll always feel it. That's, so you that's just gotta, the part of it. You just gotta go a one thousand percent at first try <laughs> just to get that shit over with. This that nigga feeling, think he Deku, nigga. You gotta, you gotta get it on. <laughs> gonna be crouched on the ground for a month after he do that the first time, son. He's gonna be on the floor, fucked up, not moving. He be like, all right, we gonna try it again. <laughs> Nah, you going through too much, nigga. I'm gonna just be a reverse vampire. We just keep the lights. This is an all, anime. I would do all it. the fucking time. Facts. All right. Uh, he had one more question. Uh, would you rather? Would you want the powers to mimic any other powers of anyone that you're near, or you're able to travel back in time? But if you change anything, you're stuck with your dis. That's that's easy, nigga. Oh, you just said. Uh, so would you want? The power to mimic any other powers that you're near. Like if so, if anybody, whatever okay. power, they, as long as you're nearby, you can mimic. Okay. Or you ha- you're able to uh, time travel back, but if you change anything, you're stuck with your decision. So basically, yeah, I'm, I'm just mimicking powers. That's yeah, because I mean, like, to me, that's a easy. That's mad easy. Like, because if you go back in time and you fuck some shit up and you're stuck with it, because I can't go back again and fix it, nigga. No, I'd rather just mimic powers. That's mad safe. Like I can't fuck that up. So as long as I'm next to like Superman or some shit, I'm that nigga, basically. Right. Know what I mean? Um, so yeah, now nah, that was all the questions. We took y'all niggas through another fucking round of the danger room. Shit got a little crazy, you know what I mean, with the hippopotamus and shit. Niggas is wilding in here. The the fucking tarantula raptor. Like, if y'all have any favorites, 
feel free to like hit us up with like your answers on who you think would survive, like who would you fight, like all that shit. Um, before we get out of here, shout out to all the Gene Lantern members. You know what I mean? Nice. Uh, Tana, Sheem, Drizzy, Wolves Den, Empress, Dave, Skip. Like shout yep. out to all y'all niggas. Uh, yeah, man. Like so, uh, you got any final words before you wrap? Anything you want to say? Uh. Don't fight any hippopotamus, baby. <laughs> Yo, the next, the next fucking danger room bracket, nigga. The March Madness bracket with these niggas is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be nuts. <laughs> so, um, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast, providing you with that high quality nerd commentary. Subscribe, leave a review, tell a friend, uh, follow us on all social media sites as the Mighty Metas. You can find me on all social media sites as Old Dirty Dennis. O-L-D-I-R-T-Y-D-E-N-N-I-S. And I'm streaming again, nigga. It's lit. Find me on YouTube. Find all that shit. My cards are back. Find me on Etsy. You know what I mean? All that shit. Uh, you can find my man Colton. At the Colton Show underscore underscore. Colton or Show. the Colton Show everywhere else, which is like Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. I got a website, thecoltonshow.com. Buy your shit. Um, send us home, bro. Uh, if you ever see me... In the battle arena with the bear gorilla. <laughs> Help the bear gorilla. <laughs> Me. Yo, we out. <laughs> <laughs>